Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of stability. This is a card of um, unions coming together, celebrating a connection, achieving a relationship goal, taking things to the next level. Something could be becoming more official. A connection could be becoming more official in some way here. But there's definitely very positive energy around this connection. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, the Ten of Cups, Water Energy, and the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. So definitely things are becoming very harmonious for this connection. There's this energy of balance, peace, harmony, and with the Ten of Cups, there's a, a mutual uh, desire for this. There's this energy of you and this person being on the same page and looking out in the same direction. The vision, the goal for the connection is, is equally shared. You both want the same thing and there's an energy of emotional fulfillment. Um, the Seven of Swords is showing that there's no pretense here anymore. There's no game playing. There's this feeling of having achieved a goal in this love and you guys are comfortable with each other. You know, there's that feeling of contentment and comfort comfort with each other and you know with this temperance energy it's like there's good will towards each other seeing each other in a very positive regard okay so let's clarify these cards um virgo Yes, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So a card showing hard work, dedication, and commitments. There's something about the connection, the commitment here is being deepened here. Um, both people are wanting to really put in the effort, and we're seeing consistent effort here. You can really count on this person and vice versa. There's an energy of getting on the same page and, you know, not, you know, I'm seeing both people here willing to, to really devote themselves to this. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth Energy, Nine of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, and the Temperance again, um, Sagittarius Energy. So there's an air of optimism around this connection. I'm seeing both people are recognizing the, the how divine this connection is. Both people are considerate of each other in this connection. There's this feeling of really being there for each other, supporting each other, wanting the best for each other. Good intentions are seen here. And with this Nine of Swords being the reverse, there's a feeling of peace of mind. There's an energy of reassurance. Um, you and this person, there's no holding back anymore. With that Seven of Swords in the reverse, it's like making your intentions very clear to each other. It's very obvious. There's no fear of being vulnerable here. And this is putting both people at ease because with that Nine of Swords, that is a card of reassurance. And, you know, there's just this, there's no anxiety anymore around this connection. It's like you guys have been so upfront with each other that you feel safe and secure in this connection. The Five of Pentacles is also in the reverse, and that also shows, again, there's that security in this connection. There's this feeling of closeness and um, warmth between you. You have each other's backs, and you're not afraid to make it known to each other. 
So this could be a connection that is becoming official, you know, whatever the next step is, moving in together, getting married, um, you know, making the connection exclusive, whatever it is for your connection, there's an energy of getting on the same page and moving towards that goal. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. So we have believe in the impossible blue moon so definitely there's an energy around this connection of things are finally happening happening for this connection um you know you're connecting with someone who wants what you want you guys there's a there's a lot of compatibility showing up here okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you Okay, so we have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so I'm seeing a, a connection that is entering into um, a blissful period, a stable period, um, a more enjoyable, uh, fun period here because, you know, there's this feeling of safety, comfort, security, and thus there's this energy of being able to really just be yourself and enjoy each other here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Virgo. So we have purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Okay, so definitely it's like you guys are entering into that blissful, cheerful period where, you know, there's this mutual trust here. Both people here are showing up as having good intentions and are being considerate of each other. There's a lot of goodwill in this connection. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Virgo. So we have surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. So it does look like a connection here is really changing for the better. I'm seeing there's an energy of coming out of, you know, some lack mindset or, you know, with the seven of swords, a pretentious period, um, th things are changing for this connection. And it does look like there's this energy of goodwill, um, you know, having the best regard for each other. But this is coming because you guys have developed some sort of trust. You guys have been through something, something hard here, things that have made the connection resilient. And, you know, it's taken a lot to get here, but you guys are finally here. There's a, a definitely a positive change for this connection. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.